So, this is where we look at one of the highly debated pickleball topics. What makes someone a pro player? <laughs> Obviously, everyone has a right to their opinion. But I think this explanation might clear it up for at least most people. There is a system, and it makes sense. Sort of. But it is what it is. In pickleball, there are currently a few rating systems that allow people to compete at their level. I think overall, most pickleball players kind of know what level they are if they've been playing for a little while. Like, yeah, I'm a 4-0 and I'm trying to move up to 4-5 or, you know, something like that. So the highest rating-based division I've ever seen in a pickleball tournament is 5-0. Then it's the pro division. The division is called pro by the governing bodies of the sport that we play called pickleball and tournament directors. Now, in my opinion, at least at the pro level, the duper rating is the most overall accurate because it's driven by a dynamic algorithm that takes into account more than just wins and losses. It also allows the pro division a more appropriate spread of the levels. For example, Tyson's singles duper rating is a 7.02 and mine is a 6.12. So I am about in the middle of a range of skill levels that spans about the same difference as a 3.0 to a 5.0 and I'm about in the middle. I'm like a 4-0 playing a 5-0 when I play Tyson, only it's Tyson. <laughs> and this spread is still without any of the high level elite athletes that the other sports have. I'm not saying that the top pickleball pros are not top athletes, but anyone in athletics knows the difference and they know that pickleball has not seen any of that yet. If they're that level of athlete, the sport is just not lucrative enough to attract them yet, but it's coming. So right now, some people would say if you're playing the pro division, that you're a pro pickleball player. Just like you would say, I'm a 5-0 pickleball player. It's a division. It doesn't mean that you're making a living playing in pickleball tournaments, but it tells people your level right away, so it gives you context for a conversation. Now, there are also people that would say, just because you're competing in the pro division doesn't mean that you can claim to be a pro pickleball player. Anyone can just sign up if they want to donate a couple hundred bucks to the pros. Now, although this used to be true, the APP Pro Draws are limited in size and it's based on a combination of factors including rating and registration date and tournament director discretion. And the PPA is now having feed-in draws where there's a pre-playoff on the event day in order to get into the main draw based on ratings. So just like other sports, these organizations have created ranking systems for what they consider to be the pro players for the sport of pickleball. Each having their own criteria because they all want to become the standard. The APP, the PPA, and the World Pickleball Rankings are all based on points awarded by winning rounds. And Duper is producing ranking systems based upon ratings, highlighting the highest levels. So if you're a player on any of these pro player ranking lists, then you're a pro pickleball player based upon the standards of the governing bodies of the sport of pickleball. It's almost like they make the rules.